Hi there, Sofia Oja here from sofiaoja.com, your web design and email marketing specialist. If you're looking for help in setting up checkboxes in your ConvertKit forms, then this video is for you. I have laid out all the steps that you need to accomplish this in blog post number 39. So go over to sofiaoja.com forward slash blog, look for blog post 39 so that you can follow along all the steps and copy the code that you'll need to accomplish this. Yes, you will need some code, but if you can copy and paste, then you can do this. So let's begin. Now, there are many reasons why you may want to create a checkbox. It could be for making your forms GDPR compliant, the new EU law that is effective starting May 25th. Or it could be to give your subscriber choices for supplementary content like additional free PDFs. There are many uses for checkboxes and I'll show you just one of them. And that is to give your subscriber a choice for opting into a newsletter or your marketing efforts. All right. So you can scroll down to these steps and basically I'm going to show you these 11 steps. They're all for creating a single checkbox. If you want more than one, then follow step number 12, 13 and 14 in order to add two checkboxes. All right. First, you need to decide how many checkboxes you want and what the text is going to be. It's good to have that text written down somewhere so that you can easily copy and paste when it comes to applying into the code. Now, let's say in the first situation, you are just creating a single checkbox. All right. What you need to do is to identify clearly in your records, in your system, what tag the person will get when they check mark, when they click yes to that particular checkbox. All right. So in my example, I'm giving people the choice. Yes, I want your newsletter. Once they click on that checkbox, ConvertKit will give them the tag consent newsletter. And you can really have the tag say whatever you need it to say in order to identify this particular checkbox. You are going to go inside your account and create that tag. Once you have created that tag, all you need to do is to find that tag ID and that will show up in the URL. So what you need to do is to click into your tag, in my case, consent newsletter. And when you click into it, you will see the URL up here and you will note down this tag ID. That is the important information that you need. If you're going to have more than one tags, then record the tag ID for each tag. All right. Step four, you're either going to create a new form or open an existing form on which you want the checkbox. So I'm going to create a new form for our example here. And this is for a full form. Now go ahead and customize it the way you would like it. Step five, go into the embed tab and you'll be clicking raw HTML. Now note that you're not using JavaScript. This is probably what you most likely normally use to embed in your website, but you are going to need the raw HTML. That's because we're adding checkboxes and adding some extra code. So click into this, Command C on a Mac, copy all of that code, and then jump into the back end of your website. Here I am inside my Squarespace account. So what you're going to do is wherever you want that code to show up, you're going to use the code block to paste it. All right. So that code that you just copied from your ConvertKit form, you're going to paste it here. We're not yet done. There's one very important step. You're going to scroll up in this code here and look for button class right here. Okay. So right above this bit, 
you're going to paste the checkbox code. And what is that code? It's the bit of code that tells ConvertKit that you need to add a checkbox and that the checkbox will lead into a tag. So come on over to step number eight. You're going to copy all of this. Come over here right above button class and paste it. Make sure, of course, that you customize it. Right here, you're going to add in the tag ID that you noted earlier from step number three. And then also customize this text. This is what will show up next to the checkbox. All right. So in my case, I have this. Yes, send me your weekly email newsletter. You can have it uh, newsletter and marketing offers, whatever you want it to, to be. All right. Click apply. And there you go. You have that checkbox showing up over here. So that's all you need to do. You have a checkbox. As soon as somebody clicks on the checkbox and hits subscribe, they will get the tag corresponding to that checkbox inside your ConvertKit account. So that's it, my friend. I hope you found this video helpful. Now, if you would like to connect your ConvertKit form with checkboxes, integrate it with lead pages, or more specifically lead boxes, then look out for my blog post number 40. You can go to sophiaoja.com forward slash blog and look for blog post 40. And that's where you will see all the steps plus a video as well. And in blog post 41, I show you the exact email that I sent to my subscribers to get a fresh consent from them about staying on my list. This is all in line with the GDPR EU regulations that are effective May 25th, 2018. So as an idea inspiration, you can check that out as well. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.